When I was back in graduate school, um, so this goes back more than 30 years ago, um, the professor was showing a videotape of something. It was probably a, a demonstration. And he couldn't get it to work. And he was very, getting very frustrated and very um, flustered. And I just yelled out, you've got to rewind the tape. And that's what, that's, that's what he needed to do. I'm not prescient. I'm not, I don't know things that aren't available. But for about a split second, I saw what looked like credits. So it just made sense. My mind functioning just clearly could perceive that he was at the end of the tape. It wasn't magic. It wasn't that I'm brilliant. It was just that I saw something. To see something, we have to be open. We have to be ready and not so cluttered by our ideas and opinions, but to be ready. So when Marshall gave the instructions tonight, I heard him talking about, he said on the in breath, clear mind, clear mind, clear mind, and on the exhale, don't know. And then Marshall went and described don't know. I'm sure for many of us, he offered something in that description that kindled a feeling that gave you a sense of what he was talking about. But the description that Marshall used was not don't know. Sometimes we say don't know is not don't know. If you get an idea of, don't, of not knowing before thinking mind, beginner's mind, it doesn't matter the phrase we use. But if we have that idea, then everything is filtered through that idea. But that's the idea is not what don't know is. Don't know is an actual experience. Not knowing is experiential. We do, as an object of meditation, say the phrase don't know. But that's not don't know. Don't know is before thinking. Don't know is experientially open and ready, not hanging on to any one particular idea or handhold to keep us upright. It's being ready and our senses being open and being able to perceive this moment just as it is. But we're cultivating a life of awareness and openness and very often, I think we fall into this idea, I already understand that. Yeah, I know what don't know is. And as soon as I think I know it, I've lost it. Because it merely means not knowing. Again, this is something many of you perhaps have heard from me before. Um, but I've read, I was reading this article from a Korean scholar, and he was talking about Kung An practice done in Korea. And he said, in Korea, we use the question to raise great doubt. Once we experientially have raised this great doubt, we throw away the question. The answer isn't the point. The point is to raise great doubt. 